Have you ever imagined a land where time flows differently? Where ancient history and modern life intertwine seamlessly? Welcome to Ethiopia, a country where each sunrise brings a story as old as humanity, and every sunset whispers tales of empires and legends. Nestled in the Horn of Africa, Ethiopia is a mosaic of diverse cultures, breathtaking landscapes, and a heritage of historical significance. From the mystical, rock-hewn churches of Lalabella to the bustling streets of Addis Ababa, this nation is a kaleidoscope of experiences waiting to be explored. Join us as we journey through Ethiopia, discovering the soul of one of the world's most captivating countries. Number 1. Ancient History and Unbroken Lineage Did you know that Ethiopia is like a living museum? This country is ancient with a capital A. It's not just old, it's ancient. Home to one of the longest histories of any nation. Ethiopia's past stretches back to the times when kingdoms were the latest trend. Here, the ruins of the Aksumite kingdom aren't just piles of rocks. They're silent storytellers of a glorious past where monarchs strutted around, claiming they were related to King Solomon. That's right, the same guy from the Bible with all the wisdom and the tricky baby-splitting case. And let's not forget Lucy, the famous 3.2 million-year-old hominid fossil. Number 2. The Fortress of Independence Picture this, a bunch of European colonizers show up with their maps and flags ready to claim their piece of Africa, and they get to Ethiopia. What do they find? A land so tough and people so resilient that the colonizers might as well have tried to conquer a porcupine with a toothpick. Ethiopia's terrain is like a natural fortress. High mountains, deep valleys, and landscapes that change faster than a chameleon on a disco floor. The topographical jigsaw puzzle, combined with the fierce spirit of its people, meant Ethiopia kept its independence when much of Africa was divided up like a birthday cake at a party. Number 3. A Mosaic of Geographies Ethiopia is like nature's experiment in diversity. You've got the cool, breezy highlands where you might need a sweater. And then there are the hot, arid deserts where you'd wish for nothing more than an ice cold drink. It's a geographical roller coaster, from the frosty peaks of the Simeon Mountains to the fiery depths of the Danakil Depression, one of the hottest places on Earth. And slicing through all this is the Great Rift Valley a massive crack in the Earth's surface, home to jaw-dropping landscapes and unique wildlife. Number 4. A Nation Carved by Ethnicity If Ethiopia were a party, it would be the most diverse one you've ever attended. Imagine a room where every group has a fascinating story, language, and traditions. That's Ethiopia for you. The country's political map is a jigsaw puzzle of ethnic regions. It's like someone looked at the diversity and said, let's organize this party by language and cultures. This means you can travel a few miles and feel like you've entered a completely different world, with its customs, food, and even traditional clothes. Number 5. A Symphony of Ethnicities when it comes to ethnic diversity, Ethiopia is like a music festival, with around 80 different bands playing their unique tunes. The Oromo, the largest group, are like the headliners, known for their coffee farming and traditional music that'll get your feet tapping. Then you have the Amhara, with their centuries-old castles and a knack for storytelling that could keep you entertained for hours. And that's just the beginning. Each group, from the Sidema to the Afar, adds rhythm to this symphony. It's like walking through a live playlist of human diversity, where every track is a new ethnic group, each with its beat, rhythm, and dance moves. Number 6. The Hamer 
The Hamer people live the ultimate nature-friendly lifestyle in the lush Omo Valley. These folks don't just live on the land, they have a full-blown relationship with it. Their lives revolve around their cattle and goats more than just animals. They're like family members who just happen to moo and bleat. And talk about their social dances. It's not your awkward high school prom dance. It's a vibrant, energetic display of culture with bells, whistles, and serious jumping skills. Number 7. The Karo The Karo people are the Picassos of the Ethiopian tribes. They use their bodies as canvases. Let's just say they're not afraid of color. Their body art is more than just for show. It's a walking, talking, well, maybe not talking expression of their social status and identity. The Karo could give any modern tattoo artist a run for their money. They use natural pigments from the earth to create intricate, detailed designs that would make any hipster in Brooklyn jealous. Number 8. The Mersai The Mersai tribe takes beauty is pain to a new level. These folks have turned lip plates into an art form. It's not just a fashion statement, it's a cultural emblem. The larger the plate, the higher the status, like a Bentley for your mouth. These plates uniquely blend beauty standards, tradition, and personal expression. When a Mersai woman rocks a lip plate, it's not just about aesthetics. It symbolizes identity, strength, and social status. Number 5. The Great Rift Valley the Great Rift Valley is like Earth's autograph, a massive geological signature visible from space. This gigantic crack runs through Ethiopia, making it a hotspot for geography nerds and adventure seekers. It's not just a big ditch, it's a storybook of the planet's history, with pages made of volcanic rocks and chapters written in seismic activity. The valley has some jaw-dropping landscapes, from rolling hills to deep lakes. Number 10. The Donakil Depression Visiting the Donakil Depression is like taking a trip to Mars without the hassle of building a spaceship. This place is hot, dry, and looks like a sci-fi movie set, with temperatures that can make your thermometer give up. It's one of the hottest places on Earth. It's got everything a hostile alien planet would need. Lava lakes that look straight out of a doomsday movie, neon-colored sulfur springs, and acid lakes that are so acidic they'd laugh at your vinegar. Number 11. The Colorful Canvas of Donakil Step into Donakil and you're stepping into a painter's wildest fantasy. This is not your average landscape. It's a natural art gallery where the Earth shows off its artistic skills. The Donakil Depression is like a science experiment gone wonderfully right, creating a kaleidoscope of colors that make rainbows look plain. Hot springs bubble up in shades of turquoise and orange, while sulfur and salt formations paint the ground in bright yellows and greens. It's so otherworldly that you might start looking around for aliens or a lost astronaut. Number 12. Lalibela Lalibela is where faith and rock meet in an epic mashup. This town is famous for its 11 monolithic churches carved straight out of the ground like some divine sculptor went to town with a giant chisel. Built in the 12th and 13th centuries, these architectural marvels are Ethiopia's answer to Petra, but with a holy twist. Each church is a masterpiece, with intricate details and a story to tell. St. George's Church is the most famous of them all, shaped like a cross and looks like it's been dropped from heaven. Number 13. Oxum Oxum is like a page from an Indiana Jones script. This ancient city is littered with massive obelisks, towering sentinels of a forgotten empire. These stone giants are ancient Ethiopia's status updates, marking royal tombs and telling tales of power and prestige. 
But the real thriller here is the Church of St. Mary of Zion, which is said to house the Ark of the Covenant. Yes, that chest from the Bible with the Ten Commandments inside. No one's allowed to see it though, so it's a bit like the ultimate secret club. Number 14. The Blue Nile Falls The Blue Nile Falls is where the river puts on a show. Locally known as Tis Izat, or Smoking Water, these falls are a sight. Imagine a colossal amount of water plunging with such force that it creates a thick mist that you might think you've walked into a cloud. The falls are about 45 meters high, and during the rainy season become a thundering monster that's both terrifying and mesmerizing. Number 15. Simien Mountains The Simien Mountains are like the penthouse suite of Ethiopian wildlife. Perched high in the sky, these rugged peaks are home to some of the rarest animals on the planet. The Ethiopian wolf, which looks like a fox who went on a diet, roam these mountains along with the Walia Ibix, a mountain goat with a penchant for living on the edge, literally. Then there are the Galata monkeys, who are more like grass-eating, chill mountain dwellers with a taste for drama. Their mating rituals are like soap operas. Number 16. Addis Ababa Addis Ababa, affectionately known as the New Flower, is where Ethiopia's heart beats the loudest. Sitting high in the mountains, this city is a dizzying blend of old world charm and new world hustle. It's like stepping into a time machine, where one minute you're walking past a centuries old church, and the next you're dodging taxis on a bustling modern street. With its mix of museums, markets, and espresso bars, yes, they love coffee here. Addis Ababa is like the cool uncle of African cities, a bit traditional, hip, and always ready for a good time. Number 17. Harar Harar is like the setting of a mystery novel, ancient, walled, and full of secrets. This city is a maze of winding alleys, buzzing markets, and colorful homes that look like they've been dipped in a rainbow. But the real wild twist? Every night, hyenas stroll into town for a bite to eat, and the locals feed them like they're oversized, slightly scary pets. It's like a dinner party, but with more teeth and growling. Number 18. Gondar Gondar, once the centerpiece of the Ethiopian Empire, is like a medieval fairy tale set in stone. Think castles, palaces, and battlements like the African version of Camelot, but without King Arthur and his knights. This city is a stroll through Ethiopia's royal past, with each stone and turret whispering tales of kings, queens, and courtly intrigue. Gondar's historical sites, like Fasil Gebi and the Debri Birhan Selassie Church, are not just tourist spots. They're chapters from a real-life history book that you can walk through, touch, and feel. Number 19. Ethiopia's Wild Heart The Omo Valley is where Ethiopia's wild side lets its hair down. The animal kingdom throws a non-stop party in national parks like Mago and Neshazar. Lions strut their stuff like they own the place. Hippos hold water ballet performances and birds of every color provide the soundtrack. It's a wildlife extravaganza where every turn brings a new wow moment, and every snapshot is a potential screensaver. Number 20. Ethiopia's Unique Calendar Ethiopia's calendar is like a rebel with a cause. While the rest of the world follows the Gregorian calendar, Ethiopia marches to the beat of its drum, with 13 months making up a year. It's like having a secret month up your sleeve. The Ethiopian New Year kicks off in September, just when everyone else is mourning the end of summer. And talk about feeling young. According to this calendar, you're about seven years younger in Ethiopia. 
It's not just a way of marking time. It's a unique cultural rhythm that sets Ethiopia apart in the most delightful way. Number 21. Ethiopian Time In Ethiopia, time doesn't just tick, it dances to its rhythm. The day starts when the sun peaks over the horizon and a 12-hour clock begins. It's like nature's own alarm clock without the snooze button. This means when you think it's 7 a.m. by international standards, it's the first hour of the day in Ethiopia. And when the sun sets, it's a whole new clock. It's their way of saying, let's keep things simple and sunny. Number 22. The Faith of a Nation Ethiopian Orthodox Christianity isn't just a religion, it's a grand centuries-old saga. They took the Bible and turned it into a living, breathing culture. This faith is a vibrant tapestry of ancient rituals, colorful ceremonies, and old churches carved out of rock. It's where stories from the scriptures aren't just read, they're celebrated with the kind of pomp that would make a royal wedding look modest. Number 23. Celebrating Faith In Ethiopia, religious festivals aren't just marked on the calendar, they're massive street parties of faith. Take Tim Coat, for instance. It's like the Super Bowl of baptism celebrations with processions, singing, and splashing water like it's going out of style. Then there's Gina, the Ethiopian Christmas, where fasting ends and feasting begins. It's like everyone's birthday party rolled into one, with more prayers and less cake. Number 24. The Land of Legendary Runners Ethiopia's highlands are like natural running tracks, sculpted to create marathon legends. This is where running isn't just a sport, it's part of the air they breathe. Kids here probably run before they walk. These high-altitude heroes make marathon running look like a walk in the park. It's said that the thin air at high altitudes gives them superhuman lung power and stamina that would make a racehorse envious. Going for a run in Ethiopia could mean a casual 20-mile jog. Number 25. The Beta Israel the Beta Israel community in Ethiopia is like a hidden chapter in the story of Judaism. This group traces their roots, connecting their lineage to ancient Israel and the Queen of Sheba. They're like the keepers of a history that stretches back to the times of Solomon. Living mostly in the northern regions, their traditions and practices add unique flavor to the already diverse Ethiopian cultural stew. It's a community that blends ancient Jewish customs with Ethiopian culture, creating a blend that's as intriguing as unique. Number 26. The Gersha In Ethiopia, feeding someone else isn't just polite, it's a love language called Gersha. Imagine sitting down for a meal and having someone gently place a delicious morsel of food right into your mouth. It's like saying, I care about you, but with food. It's a gesture so full of affection and respect that it could make a grumpy cat smile. In the Ethiopian culture, food is more than just sustenance. It's a way to connect, to share a bit of your soul. Number 27. The Changing Face of Ethiopian Marriage Customs Ethiopian marriage customs are like a river, always flowing, always changing. Traditionally, some communities practiced polygamy, but nowadays it's more of a history lesson than a lifestyle choice. What's timeless, though, is the foundation of Ethiopian marriages, love and respect, with a side of seriously elaborate wedding celebrations. Think colorful outfits, vibrant music, and enough food to feed a small army. Marriage here isn't just about the couple. It's about bringing families and communities together in a joyous, festive whirlwind. Number 28. Rastafari The Rastafari movement might sound Jamaican, but its roots stretch to Ethiopia. 
This movement looks at Emperor Haile Selassie, the last emperor of Ethiopia, as a divine figure, kind of like a spiritual superhero. Rastafarians see Ethiopia as a symbol of African identity and pride, a beacon of hope and unity. Haile Selassie's connection to the biblical Solomon and Queen of Sheba only adds to the mystique. It's a cultural bridge spanning continents, connecting Ethiopia's history to a movement thousands of miles away. Number 29. The Birthplace of Coffee Ethiopia and coffee go way back, like ancient goat herder back. Legend says Kaldi's shepherd noticed his goats dancing after munching on some wild coffee berries. Curious. Kaldi tried some himself, and voila, the first coffee break in history. Today, coffee is more than a drink in Ethiopia. It's a cultural icon. The coffee ceremony is a slow, aromatic dance where green beans are roasted, ground, and brewed into a delicious cup of wake-up juice. It's a ritual that's as much about community as caffeine. Number 30. Ethiopian Cuisine Ethiopian cuisine is like a party where every dish brings its flavor fireworks. This is a world where Dora Wat reigns supreme, a spicy chicken stew that's the stuff of legends. Then there's Kitfo, spicier and more adventurous, like the Ethiopian steak tartare. And let's not forget injera, the sourdough flatbread that's your utensil, plate, and part of the meal, all rolled into one. Eating Ethiopian food is a communal experience where sharing is the rule and flavor is king. Number 31. The Many Lives of Ethiopia Ethiopia is like a book with a million stories, each chapter offering a glimpse into a different way of life. In the highlands, you'll find herders who know their land like the back of their hand, living in rhythm with nature and their animals. They're like the original GPS navigators, but with goats and cows. Then in cities like Addis Ababa, life buzzes at a different frequency. A world of markets, skyscrapers, and coffee shops where tradition sips coffee with modernity. Number 32. Ethiopia's Economic Ascent Ethiopia's economy is moving, and it's not just taking baby steps, it's running a marathon. Once mostly about farming, it's now strutting its stuff in the world of textile exports and tourism. Think of Ethiopia as a rising star on the global stage, sowing its way to success with textiles and rolling out the welcome mat to visitors from all over. It's like watching a caterpillar turn into a butterfly, but with more factories and fewer wings. Number 33. The Might of the Ethiopian Military Ethiopia's military is like the guardian of the nation's history and its rugged landscapes. It's not just a bunch of people in uniform. It's a force shaped by centuries of challenges, from high-altitude battles to complex regional conflicts. These soldiers are like the historical warriors of old, but with better weapons and uniforms. Their strength comes from the land itself, the mountains, valleys, and plateaus that have been the backdrop of Ethiopian history. Number 34. Etiquette for the Ethiopian Traveler Traveling to Ethiopia? Get ready to dive into a cultural pool that's as warm as deep. First tip, learn a couple of Amharic phrases. Even just hello and thank you will open doors and hearts. Let your senses lead the way in the markets, but keep your bargaining hat on. It's part of the fun. Remember, in Ethiopia, a smile is your best currency. Oh, and don't be surprised if you're invited for coffee. It's not just a drink, it's an experience. Number 35. Understanding Ethiopia's Modern Challenges Ethiopia today is like a runner on a challenging trail. The path is tough, but the spirit is strong. 
The country faces its own set of hurdles. Internal conflicts attest its unity and environmental challenges that threaten its natural beauty. Understanding these issues is key to getting the full picture. It's like knowing a place's sunny and rainy days. But through it all, the resilience and spirit of the Ethiopian people shine like a beacon. And there you have it, folks. A journey through Ethiopia's rich tapestry of history, culture, and landscapes. From its ancient roots to its vibrant present, Ethiopia is a land of contrasts and wonders. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.